In this problem, I need to solve this equation here. Well, what type of equation is it? It is a rational equation. That means it's an equation that has fractions. And the way we solve those is we find the least common denominator and use that to clear out all our denominators. And it will either turn into a linear or quadratic equation when we're done. So let's start by finding the least common denominator. And to do that, we take our first denominator of 3x plus 1. I definitely need that expression. Now let's go to the next one. I need an x too. I don't have a plain old x, so I need to write an x there. And go to the third one. Do I already have my 3x plus 1? Yes. So what is my LCD? It's the quantity x times 3x plus 1. But before we're finished with doing this part, we have to talk about restrictions. Remember, we cannot divide by zero. So we have to figure out which values of x makes my denominator zero, and those are values that cannot be part of my answer set. So to do that, we set our denominator, I'm mean, sorry, we set the LCD equal to zero. So I'm going to have x equals zero and 3x plus 1 equals zero. And so I know I can't have zero in the denominator. This one, subtract one from both sides, 3x equals negative one, divide both sides by three. I get x equals negative one-third. I cannot have that as my answer. So those are the two numbers that can't be part of the answer because they would make at least one of our denominators equal to zero. x equals zero makes this one equal to zero. x equals negative a third and make both of these denominators equal to zero. So now we're ready to multiply all three terms of my original equation by the LCD. So I'm going to have x times 3x plus 1. I like to put it over 1. It just makes it easier when I have to reduce. Times 2 over 3x plus 1 equals 1 over x. Now I'm going to multiply that by the LCD. x times 3x plus 1. And finally, minus 6x over 3x plus 1. And don't forget that term also has to be multiplied by the LCD. So now I've multiplied each term by my LCD. And now we can reduce stuff out of each term and see what we have left. We're looking at our first term, the 3x plus 1 reduces, and I get left with x times 2, so that's 2x, equals this term, my x reduces, and I get left with 3x plus 1. And in my last term, the 3x plus 1 reduces. So I'm going to get 6x times x. So I'm going to get minus 6x times x is 6x squared. Well, what type of equation do we have? The highest power on any of the x's is a 2. So it's a quadratic equation, degree 2. To solve these, we need all the terms on one side, 0 on the other, and it's much easier to solve a quadratic equation if the x squared term is positive. So I'm going to collect everything on the left-hand side. So I'm going to add 6x squared to both sides. Then I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And the last thing is I also have to subtract a 1 from both sides. 
So notice I land up with my zero on the right hand side and on the left hand side I have 6x squared. Then I have negative 3x plus 2x which is negative x minus 1. So now I have my quadratic equation in standard form. That means I have zero on one side, everything on the other is written in descending order. So this is ready to factor. So I've written my quadratic equation here that's ready to factor. And so now what's the value of a? a is the coefficient of the x squared, it's 6. b is the coefficient of the x's, so it's negative 1. And c is the constant term, also negative 1. So a times c is 6 times negative 1, which is negative 6. So I need two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to b, which is negative 1. Multiply to a negative means the signs of the two numbers are the opposite, and the bigger one has to be the negative. So I'm going to start with negative 6 times 1, which definitely multiplies to negative 6, but negative 6 plus 1 definitely doesn't equal negative 1. So let does uh, 2 divide into 6? Yes. 3 times, so I need negative 3 times 2, remember the big one has to be negative, is negative 6, negative 3 plus 2, ah, that adds to my negative 1. So these are the two numbers I'm looking for for rewriting this middle term here. So I'm going to write it as 6x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 1 equals 0. And the reason we do that is we have four terms. How do you factor four terms? By grouping. What do the first two have in common? A 3 and an x. Pull that out and 3x divides into 6x squared 2x times minus, if you pull a 3x out of a negative 3x, it has to leave something. You need a placeholder so it's going to be negative 1. Plus, what do the last two have in common? Hmm. Doesn't look like anything, but remember, you have to pull out a common factor. Everybody has a factor of 1 in common, so I'm going to factor out a 1 out of a 2x minus 1. So now, is this binomial the same as this one? Yes, that's my common binomial factor. And what does it leave behind when I factor it in front? 3x plus 1. So I have factored my equation. Now, because I have 0 on one side, you set each factor equal to 0. You have two simple little linear equations. Add one to both sides. Divide both sides by 2, so I get x equals a half, and subtract 1 from both sides here, I get 3x equals negative 1, divide both sides by 3, I get x equals negative a third. Are these both good solutions? Remember our restrictions up here x equals negative a third would make one of our original denominators zero, so it is not a good solution. Is x equals a half allowed? Yes, it is not a, one of the restrictions. So this problem has one solution, x equals a half.